My life is run by my animals. Hello everyone, my name is Tati and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a story time about how my cat almost died. It was a tragic time for me. This is the young boy, the long boy that almost died. His name is Cusco. He's a very stinky boy. Uh, he doesn't actually stink. <laughs> My boyfriend and I just say that our cats are stinky, like they have stinky attitudes. But, so we got Cusco here in September. We got our other cat Berlioz like two years ago, and he is a great cat, but we felt like he needed a friend. He is weird. He's unlike most cats. He loves to play, and he gets really destructive when he doesn't have another cat to play with. So we decided that we were financially stable enough and we were responsible enough to get him a friend so we had started looking for another cat and when we went to go look this one day we were looking at all these cats and we did, had decided that we didn't want to get a kitten because we knew that kittens were so easily adoptable um, and we wanted to get an older cat our other cat is black and we wanted to adopt another black cat because we know that they have a hard time finding homes and we had been looking and we told the lady at the adoption place what we were looking for and she was like well we have this one cat in the other building would you like us to show him to you so we were like yeah sure whatever so she brought us to the other building where they usually keep the animals that are in quarantine she showed us this tiny little snotty black kitten well he's not a kitten he was about six months old um and his name was ike and he was just this adorable cuddly little guy and she took him out of the cage and he just like clung to me and cuddled and purred and I was like oh my gosh he's so cute and she was like he's not really sick it's just every time we move him from an enclosure or we clean out clean out his cage or another cat comes in he seems to get the sniffles and we were like oh that's a little strange it sounds like feline herpes. Now feline herpes is like a chronic upper respiratory infection in cats. My boyfriend's sister's cat has feline herpes. That's the only reason I really know anything about it. The um, adoption tech said that she didn't think that it was feline herpes so we were just like well we'll take him to the vet um, and see what they say because um, he seemed other than the fact that he had a little bit of discharge from his nose he seemed fairly okay. He was very alert. Um, his gums were pink. He was a good weight. I mean, he seemed he seemed like he was acting very normal. His eyes were bright. I have a lot of experience with animals, so he seemed like a very healthy cat to me. Because we were so attached to him immediately, we decided that we were going to adopt him. We took little Cusco home. We couldn't really decide on a name for him for a while. Cusco was one of the first names that we picked out. We have a Disney theme going on. We have a dog named Sully and our other cat's name is Berlioz. Um, so we knew that it was going to be a Disney name. But we weren't quite sure what Disney name we wanted, but Cusco is kind of the perfect name for him because he is the biggest spoiled brat that I have ever met. So we took him home and he was really just the funniest little cat that I'd ever met. He took to Berlioz right away and they just were best friends immediately. As soon as we brought him home, we got him into the vet as soon as possible and they said that he seemed to be a very healthy cat other than the fact that he had a snotty nose, like I said. Um, they figured that it was just like a, hi Berlioz, this is Berlioz, the other cat. They said that it seemed like he just had like an upper respiratory infection or, you know, just like a kennel cough for cats kind of thing and to just keep an eye on him. So that's what we did and he didn't seem to get any worse. He just continuously had a snotty nose. So we were like, okay. <laughs> we didn't really think anything of it. So anyway, he was doing okay. He was just progressively getting a little bit more like snotty and some congestion. What we would do is we would turn on the um, shower and we would sit in the bathroom with him to kind of try and break up some of that congestion in his chest. He was still acting very normal. He was eating, he was drinking, and he was still playing with his brother and the dog. 
So we didn't really think anything of it. And then one day I was out at the farm with my friend and my boyfriend calls me and he says, you need to get home right now because we need to take Cusco to the vet. He is extremely sick. And I thought that he was being dramatic because my boyfriend can be a little dramatic at times. So I was like, okay, like just take him into the bathroom you know, turn on the, the shower and I'll get home as soon as possible. Little side story, at the time I was working as a key holder at a store, so I was kind of like under management, so I wasn't quite a sales associate. I was a little above that, so I could like open and close the store and that kind of stuff. Um, So I texted my boss and I said, hey, my cat is really sick, I have to take him to the vet, I cannot come to work right now. And he gave me, he gave me serious like attitude about it, he was really upset with me and he was like, this is not okay, like, you need to figure out how to find somebody to, to, like, figure it out. And I was like, look, if everything is okay, I will come to work, but if he's really sick, I can't come to work. This is my child. <laughs> like, I am not going to come to work if he's, like, really sick. There will be more to that story later. So I dropped off my friend and I get home and uh, my boyfriend brings Cusco down. He's literally like he has Cusco in the carrier and he is like barely alive. He is just laying there barely breathing and Fox is like pushing on his chest basically giving him CPR to keep him alive. Like to help him breathe because he was like so sick and I was like oh my god. Like, I seriously thought that Fox was being dramatic when he said, I think Cusco is, like, literally dying. We need to take him to the vet. We rushed him to the vet, and they took him back and um, did an, a chest x-ray, and they found that he had bronchitis and pneumonia, and he had fluid in his lungs. And it was so fast that there was nothing that we could have done to, like, prevent it or to have taken him to the vet sooner because like I said he was doing fine he was playing his gums were pink like he'd been eating and drinking and he was perfectly normal up until that moment when he just kind of like stopped acting normal it was so rapid and what they had to do is put him in this little chamber and um have him in this like filter chamber with really clean air and basically put him on oxygen and give him antibiotics and medications to keep him alive basically. You know it's really scary because they're like our children, we love them so much. <laughs> Hi. And um, I just can't imagine what like what would have happened if like he died. Like I can't even imagine. Hi my life without this little stinky boy. When I found out that Cusco had to stay overnight, I texted my boss and I told him, hey, I can't come in. I need to um, make sure that, you know, everything's gonna be okay with my cat. And I had went to, when I was at the farm earlier in the day, I had posted a Snapchat, but the farm where um, my lease mare is, is out in the middle of nowhere in freaking Kentucky, so the Snapchat didn't post until I got into um, like a place that had signal, and one of my lovely coworkers decided to show my boss this Snapchat of the farm that posted when I said I was at the vet, and he was like, well, you're supposed to be at the vet, but your Snapchat says that you're at the farm. So I post, so I sent him a text of me at the vet, like, um, <laughs> I'm at the vet right now crying my eyes out, so. Screw you, dude. I hated my boss. He was the worst. I'm going to do a story time about working at the last place that I worked, but I want to have my old assistant manager talk with me because she's my best friend, and I want her to do the story time with me. Um, but yeah, and after that... Um, time when when we had to rush Cusco to the vet, we rushed him to the vet again for an emergency visit in the middle of the night. Um, he was actually fine that time, but we were just so worried from like the time before that we didn't want to wait too long if he was going to get sick again. But that second time, he was okay. He was just getting really congested again. So the vet gave him another antibiotic shot and then he was okay. But he's okay now. He just seems to have like a chronic upper respiratory infection. He's constantly snotty. 
Like, my apartment is literally covered in cat snot. It's the most disgusting thing. I have dried cat snot everywhere. And he is seriously the naughtiest, most spoiled cat that I've ever met. He gets into the sink and tries to take dishes out of the sink. He steals everything. He's a little dragon. And he demands cuddles like he's doing right now. Like, if I wasn't cuddling him right now, he would be going around knocking things down until I cuddle him. My life is run by my animals. Alrighty, well thank you for watching this video about the time that my cat almost died. <laughs> I hope you liked it. If you did enjoy my video, please leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you thought about this lovely story time. Um, and let me know what you'd like to see on this channel in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!